Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a dual kind of review. I figured why review one without the other and do a separate video. Considering the fact that these are both pretty much the same figure, just a different paint scheme. One's platinum and one is not. So, that being said, are you ready for this? We got the Azrael Batman armor DC multiverse figure. And this is the red version. This is the standard version. This is the one that... If you pre-order it from Big Bad Toy Store or Entertain Earth, they're probably going to send you this one. And then, for the real hunters out there, and I got an interesting story about this because I've been on the hunt for these new Platinums for many weeks and it's starting to get tiring and exhausting. So, that being said, a little story time. A couple Sundays ago, I went ahead and I went to 13 targets. I posted some shorts on here, go check them out. But what ended up happening was... I went to all these stores and I was able to get a couple figures that I wanted, but not these ones. So I went out and I did all this hunting just to come up kind of empty handed. We got the first appearance Batman and that video will be coming next in the order that I'm filming. So that's what should be on deck next. But my point being that a couple days later, I just thought, yeah, screw it. I'm going to go back and check with the Target employee that told me we can't sell it to you. The release date is until four days from now or a week from now or something like that. And I was like, that's a re release date. It's not street dated, right? Well, I can't sell it, whatever. Long story short, I got it. I'm happy, but I went back three days later to that same target, talked to a different person, scanned the barcode, and she came out with both the red and the blue versions. This is the platinum version. The is very sought off after in my figure groups across the internet. So we got both of them. We're gonna review both of them. I am still on the hunt for some other Platinums that I'm missing out on and hopefully to find them in California when I'm on vacation this week because I just got married. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the review and check out the Azrael Batman. Let's crack it open. So some assembly acquired, but I gotta warn you, be careful because I just cut my finger open while trying to push the box back into uh, pushing the clamshell back into the box. But anyway... We get this cool card with the art that has Azrael on there. Gotta love it. Whole storyline on the back. If uh, I'll go ahead and read it, because you probably can't see it that well. Real name, John Powell Valley, sorry. Upon his father's death, college student John Powell Valley learns that he had been genetically altered and trained since birth by a secret society known as the Order of St. Dumas. Trademarked. <laughs> and they activate his psychological conditioning, forcing him to become their most elite enforcer, Azrael. While on a mission in Gotham City, Azrael crosses paths with Batman and soon turns on the order to join with the Dark Knight. Later, when Bruce Wayne is paralyzed by Bane, Bruce asks John Paul to become Batman for some time. John Paul then launches a campaign of brutal justice against the criminals of Gotham City and creates his own Batsuit of Armor, which is this. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not put together, Tyler. Well, no, it is not. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. He does come with all of and these, so I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces on here and give a detailed look at the figure. But I suppose before I do that, let's just go ahead and look at the actual figure itself. So, wow, this thing is gorgeous. Compared to the Walmart version that came out a couple years ago, this thing is way cool. That one is really cool and probably one of my favorite figures, but this guy has got to be... It's sought after for a reason. Check out the detailing. Even the red version looks cool. The, the blue version's probably way cooler, but this red version is what you see in the comic, and all the detailing is there. It's perfect, right? All the way from his, look at the, the suit he designed, all this stuff, the bat symbol on the front with the gold and the gray suit, and even down here, these pieces here, and little leg gauntlet there, the belt, and all the armor, everything like that is so badass. So let's go ahead and pop these pieces on, but these are all the same. They look all the same. They just snap on here, and uh, these are really detailed. A little flimsy. Well, they're harder plastic. They won't break on you if you're careful. But let's go ahead and start putting these on. And we have these little holes here that you can snap them in. So let's go ahead and get all these in here. This thing is gonna be a thing of beauty once it's all put together. No accessories, but I don't think it's needed when you get all these moving parts. And for $20 for this figure, come on, dude. When I saw these original prototypes 
Tease funny enough in a YouTube video here. A couple months back in February, I was like, are you serious? I'm gonna have to do some hardcore hunting just to be able to find it. And guess what? I did, and it paid off. Wow. I think there's too many people not giving enough love to the red version of this, but look at how freaking insane. That is nuts. I don't know how well it's gonna stand. The articulation is there. I forgot to talk about that, but I don't know how much you're gonna be able to do because it's gonna be a heavy figure. And there are a little bit of limitations just because you got these pieces connected to the back there. You don't want to rip those or wreck those or anything like that. But he is pretty articulated. No alternative hands, no alternative heads. But with all of these pieces, what do you need all that stuff for? Look at that. Are you kidding me? That freaking suit is complete. It's so cool. You just got to have them in a heroic type of pose because of all the moving parts here. Oh my gosh. This has got to be contender for figure of the year. And we haven't even opened the blue version. So I love it. It's heavy. You're going to have to be careful when you're putting it on your shelf and all that good stuff. But the figure goes hard. It's insane. I'm going to give this a, a 10, a solid A+. Plus. Everything about it is absolutely perfect. So with that being said, I think it's time to crank into the blue version and see what we think about that. You get a two for one in this video, guys. So stay tuned. So I guess if I had one little nitpicky thing to point out is that you get the two same cards. You don't get a blue version and a red version. I guess that's my one, I guess, kind of gripe if I would have to call it a gripe. But once again, this Azrael Batman comes with the same pieces, but they are blue, six of them. And I uh, figure it's the exact same, but this one features a darker paint of gray on the legs. And of course he's got the blue instead of the red. And this is the one that everybody's wanting. Everybody's looking for this guy. I'm not gonna go into the absolute details like I did with the other one, but if I'm gonna open one, I gotta open both of them. And it's gonna be the same way for the uh, first appearance Batman that I got both for as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these pieces on and well, I guess let's just go right for it. So very same figure, different color scheme, nothing too different about it. But then you get that cool little platinum label. And one piece of advice that I'm gonna give you guys right now you're probably watching this and you're probably like man i need that batman i need that azrael I, I get that figure itch too where i need something so bad and let me just tell you please never pay the scalper prices we, we talk about it a lot but i'm so serious keep hunting keep trying make friends with people who are in the same hobby as you and they will likely be on the hunt and find one and if you ask nicely, they'll probably be able to, willing to sell it to you. So that'd be my advice to you because this thing, both of these are insane. The fact that I got both of these for retail price is absolutely baffling and mind blowing. And I am so blown away at the fact that this is a 20, $21, $22 figure. And this platinum, I definitely love the platinum more, but they're both super cool compared to the uh, Walmart release from a couple years back. This is gotta be figure of the year in the way of McFarlane. I'm still on the hunt for those JLA Platinums and the Ghosts of Krypton Platinums, and hopefully I'm finding them soon. If not, I guess, like I said, don't pay scalper prices unless it's an absolute, well, they've already hit the area, but the, sh the shipment has come and gone. Unfortunately, the JLA hit my area while I was at my wedding. And I missed out on it, but it's all right because my deal was more important. But that is absolutely besides the point. I just wanted to have a couple talking points while showing these figures off. Now, let me know what you guys think. This is an absolute must. If you're a DC collector, a DC multiverse fan, a Batman fan in general, these are absolute must figures. So if you see them, please do not pass them up. They are absolutely worth it. 22 bucks a pop. And please don't pay scalper prices. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Drop a comment down below, give me some likes, show some love, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I post action figure content all the dang time. So, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you find your own Azrael Batmans, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.